Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Nungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting, keep suggesting stuff for me to react to. I will really appreciate. Thank you for your consistent um, support. If there's anything, like I said, you want me to react to, just drop the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Feel free to become friends with us. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. Today I'm going to be reacting to this story made our prophet cry so much. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you Allah. I will tell you this story. A man that existed amongst the companions who used to like you'd see him talking normal and smiling or laughing. And then suddenly at occasions he would start to cry and cry so much until he went unconscious. The companions told the Prophet about this man to try and read on him for healing. So the Prophet ﷺ called this man and wanted to help him. He took him aside and he said, what, what, what happens to you, my brother? The man said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I was never going to tell anyone this, but now that you've asked me, I must tell you. Before I embraced Islam, I used to have a daughter. And when she was born, I wanted to bury her. Because the cultural ideology came into my mind. And I started to think that when she grows older, she will bring shame to my family. But I stopped myself. My heart for my daughter was overpowering me. Years and years went, pa went by as I watched her grow. And then one day, when she reached close to a blossoming age, she was about to become a lady. He said, I began to have nightmares and desperation and distress. The pain of my culturalism came into me, thinking of the shame that my daughter is going to bring with me if she walked off with another fellow and brought shame to my, all my ancestors. Day by day, I wanted to do something, but then my heart, my love stopped me. Until one day, he said, I could not handle it anymore, Ya Rasulullah. I said to her mother, dress her up with, a, with neat clothes, and comb her hair nicely and decorate her face and tell her your father today is taking you out to a party a celebration so that she can play with the other friends of hers the mother knew that the father was up to a plot and a plan so she dressed her daughter up she combed her hair while she was crying the mother was crying and she powdered her face and made her nice while the mother was crying the daughter's asking what's wrong mother and the mother would say nothing, daughter. She's not allowed, otherwise the husband will beat her. Or probably even kill her. The daughter said, daddy's taking me out for a celebration. I love my dad. After, after decorating her, the father came along in the evening. And he took his daughter. The wife grabbed, grabbed her husband's hand and said to him, and whispered to him, but his daughter could hear. And she said some words that made his heart shiver and the, word, and the daughter to remember لا تضيع الأمانة يا رجل O man, do not lose the trust Your daughter is your trust The man took his daughter away and on his way he's thinking to himself what am I going to do? and the daughter is playing around her father thinking that her father loves her He said I approached a very deep well which was steep and deep and it had rocks, sharp rocks at the bottom he said, suddenly the pains and agonies of my culturism came and burnt me. And I began to think, should I throw her? Should I not throw her? So I would come close, then my heart would not let me. Suddenly the culturalism would come in. He said, I wrestled and wrestled. Suddenly, when I came close to the well, I grabbed my daughter and I threw her into the well. And my daughter held with her open, horrific eyes, looking at me and saying to me, Daddy, لا تضيع الأمانة. Oh, Dad, don't lose the trust. Don't lose the trust, Daddy. The man then threw her into the well. He said, Ya Rasulullah, she kept falling saying, La tudayya al-amana, ya, ya, ya Abi. La tudayya al-amana, until her tiny voice went away. I couldn't hear her anymore and she died, Ya Rasulullah. 
the Prophet sallallahu looked up at him and his beard was soaked with tears sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's beard was soaked with tears and he said to him if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to allow me to punish anyone for the killing and murder of anyone before Islam I would have started with you I would have started with you the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most compassionate even to the women and he used to say to them Mahlam bil qawarir take care of your precious pearls your daughters and your wives stawsu bin nisa'i khayra have kindness towards your wives and be patient with them get it just how why would someone do such a thing because of culture I don't get it why what's the full story of this story that I just watched another thing is I'm trying to understand why there's so much there is some sort of stigma surrounding women. When God created Adam and Eve, did God belittle Eve in the presence of Adam for the world to feel like they have an entitlement over women, an entitlement to make women feel inferior, an entitlement to feel like women just are not worth living this world or something because it's sad that we're living in today's world and a, a woman has to fight for certain things that are okay for a man that's why i'm wondering did god create adam and eve to be in such a position for us to be acting the way we act towards women nowadays it's very very sad that someone young should lose their life because culture because this man feels like it because this and that i feel like women should be given more credit without a woman you and i wouldn't be here without a woman oh, i don't even know what would the world be I think I, I, I don't know this has me shocked this had me shocked the mother knew what was going to happen and she couldn't do anything because the husband would beat her imagine being beaten because you know what your husband is thinking and is going to do and you can't stop it it's, a, it's, it's an insane world and I'm sure there are people that actually live like this it's very very sad otherwise a big shout out to all the women all the daughters all the nieces out there you're special in god's eyes that's what matters it doesn't matter what um anyone else says what society says what matters is what god thinks and what god has in plan for us at the end of the day otherwise whew, and Muhammad's reaction is actually anyone's reaction. Someone is bound to want to make you to punish the dad for what he did. Because that's not, I don't think it's a normal thing to do. Let me know what you guys actually think about this. Otherwise, I'm really shocked. I'm really, really shocked. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know by dropping the name or the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video